This tutorial shows a couple of ways of how to use the transparency tool. Just go to the next page. Now I've already got this page set up. But what I have is a picture of a heart with spaces for labels and behind it I have the heart with the labels already on. So I've covered up my answers and I just have a uh, a picture to be labelled on top. I could also add in labels around the outside that could be dragged in but this is how I've set this one up. Now if you highlight the picture on top you'll see the transparency tool fourth one in from the left just above the box. Now when you click on that and hold your mouse button down, left mouse button down and slide to the left the top picture has been made transparent and you can see what is underneath. Again click on the transparency tool and you can bring back the top picture. So you can use that for hiding labels or you can use it to for um, before and after pictures and I've set up this picture here it's just a couple of pictures off the internet uh, from Mount St Helens eruption so before the eruption this photo was taken in 1978 I use the transparency slider to show what this lake, obscurity lake, looks like after the eruption. Huge difference, quite a lot of impact there. So that is another very effective tool that you can use on Active Inspire.